Hello, this is Daniel Gulo, the Joseph S. McAuliffe Curator of the Malta Study Center and Current Project Manager of VHIML 3.0, a project funded by a generous grant from the National Endowment for the Humanities. And today I wanted to introduce a new feature that we'll be releasing uh, to VHIML Reading Room, which we hope our patrons and users will enjoy. And on behalf of Father Columbus Stewart, our Executive Director, and John Meyerhofer, our Systems Librarian and Solutions Design Group, our programming partners, I'd like you to introduce you to this new feature called My List. My List is a, an ability for users, both registered and unregistered, to save their favorite objects to um, a list that they discover using Reading Room. So let me go ahead and explain how this works for just a typical user who comes to Reading Room and has yet to register for the site. So I'm going to go over here to Reading Room. You can see I'll click on my agreement and I'm going to be looking for um, an object uh, let's say from Syria and um, perhaps some Arabic manuscripts from Syria. And So you can see some manuscripts here um, just as a basic search. Uh, another search I could use is from Lebanon um, and just as a kind of a fun thing I'm just going to search for those with uh, digital images and you can see we have this uh, nice collection here from uh, the Church of the Dormition of the Theotokos. So I've seen these um, these objects in Reading Room and what I want to do is to point out we have this new save button here on the page. So if you're interested in taking a look and saving some of these to your list, you can go ahead and click these and you will note up here at the top you now have three objects saved to my list. And if I go to my list you will see all of the objects that I just clicked there are now saved. These objects can be exported and you can then email the export to yourself. Um, you can select all and remove them all um, you can remove individual objects or you can email objects to yourself. So there's a nice way of uh, seeing your list here. Uh, note that uh, these records um, are only temporarily saved in your cache because this is a non-registered user. So you can see I just um, deleted individual objects right there. Um, and if you wanted to, you could then just export those objects and it says yes and that will create a list which for me is just downloading to my desktop because that's how I have my browser set. Another thing to think about if I go back to uh, Reading Room and do my search for um, digital manuscripts in Lebanon, um, if I open up a description you'll see a star here at the top. Now this star is currently filled in because it's already in my list. If I unclick the star you'll see the list goes to zero because it's no longer checked. If I go back to results and I choose this one you'll see that it's not clicked and I can click it and now I have two things in my list and I can go to these and then if I want to I can click on the email button and it'll email that individual record or email that individual record or export them all or remove them all. One thing to note is you can sort. You can sort by date saved, uh, country, city, repository, or the HMML project number. Now one of the big advantages of my list is that it does offer people the opportunity to store these permanently if they become registered users. If you've not registered at VHIML, um, you can go to the registration page by clicking this registration button here or register at the top. And note here I have um, um, some items in my list. If you have not registered and then registered, those items will not be stored permanently. Uh, you'll need to look for them again. However, if you are registered and you simply sign in to um, vHimmel, these now are added to your permanent list which is stored in our databases. So if I, you can see I have list uh, in there, two in my list. Um, if I sign out again, you'll notice it says zero, but if I sign back in again, you will note that 
these will be back in my list. So you can see uh, we will now save your collections. So we encourage you to register at vhimmel.org, become a frequent user of Reading Room, and use this new feature as a way of saving and exploring our collections. Thank you very much.